Hello everyone and welcome to the last beginning card making series. Today I'm going to be talking about different coloring mediums. Um, I am not going to be using them or really talking about how to use them. I'm just going to mention the different ones. Um, I have different videos using all of these different products and I can link to some of them below if you're interested. Or, if you want to know more in depth about a certain one, let me know and I can do a video on it. But, I'm just kind of going to overview all of these products. Um, just kind of say my thoughts on them and what I think for beginners what would be good. Uh, so, I'll talk about the Prismacolored colored pencils. These are two different kinds. These are the water soluble ones. So, these are like watercolors. These are regular colored pencils. Uh, I like to use these by coloring on my cardstock and then I blend them together with a water brush. You can use a regular paintbrush and water as well. I really like the soft color that you get with these and I just think they're easy to use because you can always build up the color by adding more colored pencil and then just blending it out with the water. Um, you can also use these. You don't have to blend with the water. Uh, it's not going to be as smooth of an image or coloring, but I just think that these are a good product to start with, especially with watercolors. The other ones are the regular colored pencils, and these are, um, they're like just regular colored pencils. Like if you had Crayola as a kid, these are kind of like adult colored pencils. They're a little bit higher quality. Uh, I You can use these just w coloring. Um, I blend mine with Gamsel and then you use these little paper um, blending tools. I love the color that you get with these and they blend so smoothly. I think they're really easy to use especially for beginners um, if you want to practice blending colors together. And this 24 pack comes in many different colors. I think you can buy individual colored pencils at Michael's. Um, I haven't checked in a while, but uh, these are great colors. You get all of the basics and many colors blend really well together. And the Gamsel just really helps uh, make it look smooth, like if you were coloring with Copic markers or something like that. So these are the regular colored pencils by Cr Prismacolored, and these do come in a larger package too if you want more variety of colors. Next up, I'll talk a little bit about my Copic markers. Um, I don't know how much you can see in here, but this is how I store mine. They're in clear containers, and I have to store them in order because it just helps me find them a little bit better. Um, you can see many, many videos of mine using Copics. Um, they're just really great alcohol markers. They blend really smoothly. Again, when I started using these a few years ago, I was terrified. But once you just start playing with them, it, they're really easy to use. And the one thing you just have to remember is you're not going to break it. And you're not going to mess, you might mess it up, but you can always start over and try again. It won't be the end of the world. Um, just practice blending different colors and doing it on like different images that you're not actually going to use on a card helps a lot because I think it takes a little bit of the pressure off. Um, but I love my Copics. I know other people have different coloring mediums. These are a lot, a little bit pricey, a lot bit pricey. <laughs> Um, but they're definitely worth it because they're high quality and they're refillable. Please don't throw your markers away. It's a lot better. The refill bottle is like, it's around the same price. I think it's a little bit more than a marker, but then you can get tons of refills out of it. So you're just saving money buying the refill. I only have a few refills for the colors that I use the most because otherwise I haven't really needed them. They last a long time. There's a lot of ink in the markers. but And you can find these on sale at different places too. So if you are looking, I've bought all of these one at a time. So um, I've just collected them over time. So uh, I suggest doing that. There are some sets that you can buy, but it's just not affordable for most people, including myself. So I just buy these one at a time. 
Next up is the Ganzai Tombi watercolors. I think that's how you say it. Um, again, these are really high quality, so they're more expensive. Um, I had been using my Distress Inks for watercoloring for a couple of years before I even looked at other watercolors. I like using these because it's, it is a different look. These are a little bit more opaque. You can't see through them. It's not as much of a wash as Distress Inks. It is a true watercolor. I haven't really mastered blending them to color in images yet, but I am practicing. I really love the colors that they have, and I like this larger pack because they do have metallics, which obviously you can't get in Distress Inks. But I just think that the colors in these are gorgeous and they do look a little bit different than Distress Inks when they're on the paper. They're more opaque and they just have that watercolor look, I guess. And this does come in different sizes as well. So you could buy a smaller version that's definitely more cost effective. And then the last color medium I have are the Peerless watercolors. Again, another watercolor, but watercolors super popular right now. These are a little bit more like Distress Inks, obviously not in the way that they come, but the look of them, they're more transparent. I would say it's more, it could be more of like a wash. I think these were first created to um, tint photos. So, that's why they obviously need to be transparent if you're tinting a photo. But they come in like these paper things and then you just take like, I take my water brush or paintbrush with water on it and you just pick up the color. These are so vibrant. I'm going to show you a card that I made okay. using these. Look at how vibrant those colors are. It's just gorgeous. They're a lot different than Distress Inks in that sense because they, the color of them is just like a pop of color and I just love them. They're kind of my new favorite thing and I want to use them on everything <laughs> because the color is just awesome. And I think for all of these like 42 colors it was like $25 I think. I know they sell them at Simon Says Stamp or you can get them directly from the company which I'll also link to below if you're interested. Um, but there's just so many different colors and this isn't even all of them. This is like the add-on pack I think it's called or something but there's also different packages that you can get and this is plenty for me but um, there's even see like grays and browns and stuff and this is how I store mine. I have this little, um, these are Kaiser Craft photo pocket things and then I got this little binder from Target. It's just easier to store it and the one thing I don't do or I just I let them dry sit out and dry and then I put them back in when I'm done using them but they have all the little color names and everything and these are so easy to use the I mean like I said the color and they just blend beautifully like this I think it was this green I mixed these two colors together to make that green so you can make your own colors as well and they're just Super, super pretty colors. Go, great for backgrounds and stuff on your cards, which is kind of what I started doing when I did watercoloring. I just used it for backgrounds and everything. I didn't color in images or anything like that because coloring in images with watercolor is really tricky. <laughs> um, you have to be really good at watercolors to kind of get the right look for that, which is why I like those Prisma colored watercolor pencils for that watercolor look, but coloring in images because that makes it a lot easier. If you do loose watercoloring and try to color in an image, it's a lot, lot more difficult. Alright, so those are all of the uh, coloring supplies that I think are easy enough for card makers to use um, and the ones that I use the most. So again, if you have any questions about any of these, just let me know. And this is the last beginner series video. If there was any other um, I, products or anything that you wanted to know about, please feel free to ask me and I can always make another video or answer it in a different video. 
um, or just answer your question if you have any questions. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!